Now I'm going to go over how to share your screen uh, using Zoom on a computer. So you can see I have Zoom loaded up here and I'm already in a meeting. Um, it's a meeting that I'm hosting and you can see there's only one participant, it's me. But to go ahead and share your screen once you're loaded up here, down at the bottom you have a share screen option. So if you go ahead and click on that, you get a couple different options here. You have the basics, you have advanced, and you have files. Um, but for the most part, you're gonna stick in the basic area here. So there's a few ways you can do it, but the, probably the easiest one is just share your screen, which is right here. And down here, you have a couple different options. You have share computer sound. So if, um, say, you're gonna share a YouTube video with people um, through your screen here, you're gonna wanna share that audio so they can also hear it. Um, but if you don't want to share the audio, you don't have to. And we're going to keep that off for now, but it's totally up to you. Um, and you can also optimize screen sharing for video clips. If you're showing a lot of video clips and things like that, you can do that as well. But we're going to leave both of those off and we're going to click share. And now you can see we're sharing our entire screen. So anything I do on this screen, people will be able to see. So they see exactly what you're seeing now. Anything in this kind of green box, you see. At the top, you can see we get a couple different options. We can mute our microphone, um, start or stop our videos. So they'll also, if you still want them to see your video, you can, but they'll see it in a box off to the right and they'll still see the main screen here with everything going on. Um, you can manage the participants. Um, you can do a new screen share, which we'll go over in a second here. You can pause, you can annotate, which if you click on that, um, you can kind of write on the screen and circle things so um, and do a bunch of other options here, write text, things like that. Um, so if you want to mark up your screen, they'll be able to see that maybe um, to help out. So we're going to go ahead and get out of that. You can also stop the screen sharing if you want to. Okay, so if we hit stop, now we're just back to normal. So there's a couple different um, options here that we're gonna go over um, for screen sharing, but that's the basic one. Um, next, say I'm the host of the meeting and only I want to be able to share my screen. I don't want anybody else to be able to share their screen. If I go to the share screen down here and I click on this arrow, I will get some options here. And if you click on advanced settings, you will see um, kind of three different settings here. And so the first one is how many participants can share their screen at a time. You can have one participant can share the screen at a time or multiple participants can share their um, screen. Dual monitor is recommended. Most of the time you're really just gonna want one participant to share the screen just to cut down on confusion. Um, so I would just probably leave it there unless you do need multiple people showing their screen at once, that option is there for you. Um, who can share the screen? So here I can say, only the host, only me, the person hosting the meeting can share the screen. No one else can have that option. Or if you are the host, but you want someone else to be able to share their screen, um, you can go ahead and make sure you click all participants. Then the last option here is who can start sharing when someone else is sharing. You can say, so if I have someone else um, sharing a screen, and I don't want a third person jumping in and taking over the screen sharing. Um, I can say only the host, so only I can jump in and show my screen. Or I can have all participants be able to swap in and out what screen we're looking at. It's totally up to you, pretty customizable, makes it easy. So if you're the host of a meeting and someone else is trying to share their screen and they don't see that share screen option down here at the bottom, Make sure you go ahead and click that arrow to get in the settings and make sure it says all participants and not only host. Um, once you do that and you close out of this, then that button should show up for them. So some other options are, I'm just gonna go ahead and open a web browser here. And once it go ahead and open up, you can see we can go to kind of any website we want to, right? But if I jump back to Zoom, and I click my share screen option. You see I can still share my entire screen like we went over before, 
But now since I have another program open, I can actually just share this new tab um, from Chrome. Um, so I can go ahead and just share this one window that's open, this one program, instead of sharing my entire screen and what everything that's going on on my laptop. So I'm just gonna click that and show you what it looks like. Again, we have the same options for computer sound and things at the bottom. So if I click share, now you can see anything in the green box is what's gonna be shared. So if I minimize Chrome here, everyone in Zoom can only see what's in Chrome here. This green box, see the green border around the edge here? They can't see anything else, so they can't see what I've pulled up here, they can only see the program that I've allowed them to see and anything I go and look at through here. So that's kind of a way you can make it a little bit more private and just share one thing kind of at a time if you want to. So now if we go up to the top here, you can see the new uh, share option. So say we open up another program like maybe the calculator as example or literally anything else um, you want to open up and now I want everyone to see the calculator not the page here the Chrome page here I can go up here I can click on new share and you can see I get all my options again so I can either now share my entire screen or click on the calendar or calculator and if I click on calculator and hit share you can see our green box is now around the calculator so that's what everyone's seeing. They're not seeing Chrome anymore or anything else in the background. Um, also, if I hit new share, um, you see you have the whiteboard option. And if you click on that, it's basically just a whiteboard here where you can go and click and draw whatever or write things with text and things like that. You can go ahead and use it basically as a virtual whiteboard if you want to. We're going to end this and they'd be able to see this right now. They're not seeing anything else on my screen. They're just seeing the whiteboard. So that's a few um, ways of how you can go and share your screen on Zoom um, for meetings or whatever else um, you need to use it for. Hopefully that helps.